family and welcome back to another episode of Talk the Talk. I'm your host Tej Pillay Bechen and joining me today is Christelle Papadopoulos and she is the accountant at Hatfield VW Melrose. Christelle is a punctual and motivated woman who is able to work in a busy environment and produce high standards of work. And I guess this is why she was nominated for the Motoring Woman of the Year Awards, which is powered by MFC for 2023. She is an excellent team worker and is able to take instructions from all levels and build up good working relationships with all colleagues. She is flexible, reliable, and possesses excellent timekeeping skills. I guess every accountant needs to be able to manage their time well. So without further ado, let's welcome Christelle. And as always, this interview is proudly brought to you by Siriti Solutions, MFC and Evo by NetBank. Hello, Christelle. How are you? Good, thanks. And you? Good. We had, we're not going to pretend like this is the first time we're greeting each other. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we had a bit of an off air chat. And um, I'm so happy. I'm so pleased that you understand the purpose of what we're trying to do and that you're joining our movement um, and recognize that it's not just the awards. So, mm. thank you. Pleasure. Yeah, I think it's more, you know, women have to stand together and be there for each other mm -hmm. and the support system needs to be there. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not just about award. Award is always a side thing. It's a nice thing. Yes, but yes. I think women have to stand together Absolutely. and be together. Absolutely. Yes. Now, I've been waiting to hear this and I've been telling you for the past 30 minutes, don't tell me how your journey has begun. I'm going to hear it with everyone else. So. How did your journey in motoring South Africa begin? My journey started five years ago only. Um, I worked with, for my previous company for 26 years when it closed down and got a job as an accountant. And then a year later, Hatfield VW Melrose took over. And that's basically where my journey started in the motor industry, learning a whole new industry. Wow. It was... <coughs> was it accounting or accountant? The yes. accountant position? Accounts position. Okay. But obviously, yes, accounting is the same way you go, but there were so many aspects of it. Mm -hmm. Everything had to learn. Um, and then obviously, when Hatfield took over, our, my role as accountant changed from uh -huh. the previous uh -huh. um, work and all that. So I got more involved with it. And um, yeah, I have to say thank you to um, my DP, mm -hmm. Flaes Manyama. <laughs> and what, a, what an amazing personality. Oh um, my word. Um, yeah, no, he is just one of a kind. And um, my financial manager, Ronnie Pele, if it wasn't for them, um, yeah, it, it, it was a long journey, it was a hard journey, but mm -hmm. I'm glad I stuck through it. And I'm um, yeah. <laughs> so, Christelle, for the benefit of the young woman uh, that would want to become an accountant like you in a dealership setting, what's expected of them? What is your day? What does your day look like? So, um, I think each dealership is different mm -hmm. um, because we all have our. Even though our main features are all functions are accountant, we we have different things. So. Um, doing payments, doing bank statements, um, floor plan, need to see which cars needs to be settled, um, support for your staff, your creditors and debtors clerk, helping out when they're not available. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you need to be able to do to your hands and do the work if yeah. somebody else is not there and mm -hmm. they, for some other reason, can't be at that work today work has to carry on mm -hmm. so you step in and you do Absolutely. and um, there you are. and what is your opinion about everything that we do in terms of being a platform that's there as you said to support women in the trade I think it's amazing because even though we as women 
think we're very strong and we are. Mm -hmm. um, we sometimes do need a little bit of help every now and again and I think the platforms are there for women, by women, to support and to help. We need mm -hmm. it. Absolutely. So why do you think women do well in our trade? I think for one thing is we're strong, mm -hmm. we learn mm -hmm. quickly and I think we are, we listen. We, I think that makes a big difference um, in, in any industry for that matter, but I think in the male dominated industry we mm -hmm. listen and we meticulous and we can get things done. If we set our minds to it, we can have it done. Mm -hmm. And um, if you felt like you were hitting, uh, you know, that uh, proverbial wall, as they call it, and getting burnt out, uh, what would you do uh, to re-energize yourself? I think the most important thing is, I think, to try not to get there in the first place, mm -hmm. but it's not always easy. Um, I so still get there. Yes. I really do. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> so I think that, you know, from a day-to-day -day point of view, is just stepping away from your work for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Take a walk through the dealership. Go and talk to other people. And it doesn't necessarily really have to be about work. We are, a lot of us are very sport-orientated people. We love watching soccer. Mm -hmm. We all support different teams. And we can talk about that. And I think that just re-energizes you so just removing yourself from a situation yeah, yeah. even if it's at the end of the day going home or you know just going for a cup of coffee yeah. outside yeah. the dealership yeah. um, and then obviously if it really gets bad take some time off take a few days just and I'd like to just take this opportunity to to urge ladies and women or you know and men actually. Men too. You know, I, we always talk about feminism, we always talk about gender equality, we forget that men actually go through this and because of society's uh, requirement uh, or expectation of men to be strong, we forget that they need this as well. So I'd like to advise um, anyone that's watching this to please seek help. Mental health is so important. We have to a, be able to take care of our mental health. We cannot serve from an empty vessel. I always say that it is so important to fulfill yourself in every way possible. So please go and seek help. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I still see a psychologist literally sometimes on a monthly basis. I need someone to talk to. Um, and, and it's just to, you know, to unwind and to, you know, unpack all of the emotions that I have to deal with because I'm a social worker as well. Yeah. You're an accountant with all those numbers going in your head. I cannot even imagine. <laughs> I'd go crazy, but it's not even a joke. It's not even no, a joke. No. We, we all need to be able to recoup. So I thank you for the thank you for this opportunity. I never know. I usually don't do this. <laughs> But thank you for giving me some time to talk about this because it's so important. It's very important. It's very important. Very What's important. something that you are really proud of and why? Um, Work-wise, I would say I used to be so scared of month end and balancing and doing everything and getting it done. And I've grown so much and it is actually, I can't wait for month end. <laughs> it's like, I'm so excited. I can't wait to do balancing and do the figures and look at the figures and wow. it excites Especially me. Especially when it's good. Yes, <laughs> yes. And you know what, when you do go through the times where it's not so good and all that, you know, to just try and help motivate people yeah. just to get there and mm -hmm. guys yes I know it was a bad month come let's try a little bit harder let's do this yeah. so yeah. Um, but yeah the excitement of month end because it used to be such a big thing for me that I was so scared to do it and now it's Aww, like mm, well okay. done well yeah, done so what, what is one thing that you would change though about your daily routine um I thought about that and I have to be honest, I will not change anything about my good, routine because good. my routine is my structure mm -hmm. and it is just to calm me down and... And you're an accountant and you like <laughs> things to be 
plan. I know, and, and I do, I do. I plan everything. Uh-huh. My diary is full of notes and everything, but it's just there to give me structure and to plan my day. And my routine is just to calm me down yeah. and have be ready for the day. Now it's, it's amazing when a woman or any person can get to a point in their life and you know where they find comfort in what they're doing and you know it, it does comfort is not equivalent to complacent no no, no. not at all not, not for an accountant no. for a journalist maybe <laughs> or for a media or marketing person no. comfort could mean complacent in many ways but no so don't be mistaken by that don't at no. all any words of advice for women that want to join our trade Yes, um, I think they must research. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think any, anybody that wants to go into any industry needs to learn about it and mm-hmm. find out more about it. Um, go talk to people. Go to a dealership and talk to ladies mm-hmm. in, the, in, um, in the industry and find out how did they get there, how do they find it. And if you can, for the young girls, join a youth program. Um, my dealership is very much involved in the youth um, dealer um, programs, place ladies and men as well, mm-hmm. boys and girls, all over the dealership and they're there to learn and they can learn and take from there to see if they want to, is it something that they want to do and want to join and mm-hmm. so. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for accepting your nomination. As I said earlier on, I think uh, even if you and this conversation could touch one person's life, that then our work is done. So thank you so much. And thank you for you, for what you're doing and for the platform that you are creating for women, um, by women, so that we can all find our little place in this male-dominated world of ours. So we have to stand together and thank you so much. Maybe that, you're welcome by the way, but maybe that two centuries that was predicted for us to overcome this gender, you know, discrimination and inequality will turn uh, to 50 years. Maybe half, we can half we it can half if it. we all stand together. Stand together. And that's what's needed. So thank you so much. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Viewers, we would like to thank you for your continued support and encourage you to like and share our content our non-profit companies, the Motoring Woman of the Year Awards, powered by MFC and Evo by NetBank, and the Talk the Talk Studios, sponsored by Seriti Solutions and Evo by NetBank, are platforms aimed at empowering, uplifting and celebrating the women of motoring South Africa. We are not just telling stories, we are changing lives. If you are searching for a new or pre-owned vehicle, please visit www.auto.evo.africa. We have a wide range of vehicles on sale for you to choose from. And we only advertise on behalf of reliable and trustworthy MFC accredited dealerships. This car listing portal is user-friendly and you can also find vehicle reviews car maintenance tips and automotive advice all courtesy of talk the talk studios ladies and thank you so much as i said earlier on um, it is so important for us to stand together it is so important for us to uh, uplift empower and to you know just create this this feeling of being uh, or you know not being alone so ladies great things never come from comfort zones uh, funny that I talked about that earlier on um, but yeah comfort is not necessarily equivalent to complacent as I said but if you get a bit too comfortable things can uh, actually not go your way because you're not challenging yourself so uh, you have to be willing to learn new skills, seek new opportunities, and put yourself in unfamiliar situations to grow. Um, the struggle you uh, or you developing, or the struggle you in today is developing the strength you need for tomorrow. And with that, I would like to remind you that the question isn't who's going to let me; it should always be who's going to stop me. Mm-hmm.